First thing I want to go over, and I think I went over it for most of you guys who were, if you heard my uh, practice organization talk. First thing that I'll go over if you weren't there is our throwing program. You know, defense, teams that catch and throw the baseball at a high level win championships. 2014, at the College of Charleston, we played in a super regional with a team that hit 255. But we filled it right at 980. We had one of the best defensive teams I've ever had, and we had great pitching. We had three center fielders in the outfield. We had guys that could really go get the baseball, and we spent a lot of time working on outfield defense. Nothing substitutes playing live batted balls at game speed during practice. One thing I cannot stress to you enough when it comes to outfield play is your outfielders have to play at their position with no players around them that are not outfielders during your batting practice segment. If you're doing BP after you do your defensive work with your guys, batted ball off bat is the best thing you can do for your outfielders. Do not underestimate that during practice every single day. Our rule of thumb, if you can catch it, you play it. If you can catch it, you play it. 